Hey guys, uh, this is another video from Agricultural Insights. My name is Chris Stelzer, and I wanted to do a follow-up of an example I gave you guys earlier about calculating expenses for a lease contract. And if you'll notice, that video has this spreadsheet in it. So right now I have the lease contract up, um, and the, the main difference in these two videos is going to be this box right here where it says lease payment. So this box right here is going to be different. Um, so the lease payment. And we calculated that all expenses for getting this, this whole operation set up would be $48,612.50. After all was said and done, we would make a profit of $29,387.50. Okay, um, that was the goal. And this was also only for eight months worth of grazing. So basically you would contract with a cattle owner and say, you know, I'm going to graze your cattle as long as I can, or I'm going to graze your cattle for however many months, and you're going to pay me so much per month uh, per head. And we calculated that out to be $11,000. So there's a much more detailed explanation of what's going on uh, between the lease and the mortgage payment calculators in my previous video. So if you haven't, please go check that video out. So now let's we're going to switch over to a new spreadsheet, and this is a mortgage example, as you can see right up there. So this is for a mortgage payment if you were to actually buy the land. So all things are going to stay the same. Uh, we're buying 1,000 acres and it's going to be $750. Now this is highly variable depending on where you live. I just got some some estimates online from a few different websites. Uh, but this should be a pretty good figure. And if you were curious, this 1,000 acres is the same amount of land that we used in our lease example. Okay, so I tried to keep everything the same. Okay, um, now I still have on here all expenses are $48,612.50. That's for things uh, in this column, in these columns here, which uh, add up to that. And that's things like fencing, water, gas, um, a Honda four-wheeler, a truck, a handling facility. So, I mean, if, if, you, if you went all out and you bought all those things that I've circled right here, you would have a legit operation and you'd be fine. Uh, you'd re you'd really know what you were doing. So, uh, just to recap, we're going to get 22 head a month. We can run one animal unit for two acres for eight months, so that's 500 animal units. Uh, let's see, fencing for a thousand acres. That's a rough estimate. I put 10 cents a foot, and I just got done doing an interview with Greg Schwab, and he quoted me something like a dollar twenty a foot for, but that's for someone to do it. Okay, so this cost, which is represented right here, 20000 is highly variable. Okay, that's, that's dependent upon if you want to do the work yourself, if you want to, you know, hire someone, what kind of posts you use, how many wires you use, you know. There, so there's a lot of variables here. Just keep in mind that this is a rough estimate, but the main point I wanted to make is this. Let's talk about the land payment. Land payment. Uh, we're buying a thousand acres for 750 grand, which is no small chunk of change, right here. And over here, uh, I have the land payment for 12 months of 750 thousand dollars, or it works out to 3,992 dollars and 84 cents per month. Depends on how you finance this. You can finance it through the owner, or you can finance it through a bank. It's up to you. So the yearly mortgage payment comes down to $47,914.08. That's a huge chunk of change, okay? Now let's scroll down here. Again, we're going to be grazing for only eight months, eight months out of the year, which is represented right here. All the other expenses we're taking into consideration, $48,000 roughly. So this is... Um, the profit, let's talk about this first before we go go talk about how much you actually end up paying. The profit 
you're only going to actually this isn't even a profit you're going to be in the hole um, three thousand five hundred and twenty six dollars and fifty eight cents and the reason you're going to be in the hole is the parentheses around these numbers mean negative okay so like up here is an expense five thousand five hundred and fifty dollars or five thousand five hundred dollars that's a negative because that's an expense because it, it has parentheses the ones the uh, income doesn't have parentheses around it which is represented by all these eleven thousand dollar figures here so if you were to buy the land you would be in the hole after the first year three thousand five hundred twenty six dollars so you'd need a way to come up with that money the real shocker here is you end up paying one point four million dollars for this seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan you took out and the rates I calculated let's take a look at that over here um, get my handy pin out so the value of the land is seven hundred fifty thousand dollars I put I have an excellent excellent credit profile the loan amount is seven hundred and fifty you could do twenty percent of that I didn't do that I just put we're gonna finance the whole seven fifty new purchase interest rate is three point five percent that's ridiculously low loan term thirty years uh, September 2012 was when we're starting property tax 1.2 you could figure that and um, I think I deleted the PMI so I'd put no uh, property or mortgage insurance here and the rough uh, the monthly payment worked out to roughly what is this four thousand one hundred forty nine dollars I think I must have included this PMI so that's actually a little bit um, misleading so let's go back to this this is what I actually calculated it out to is three thousand nine hundred ninety two eighty four a month um, so as you can see if you can swing it which you should you should be able to unless you're I don't know have some good reason for owning the land you really end up paying a whole heck of a lot more okay so um, 1.4 million dollars for $750,000 loan which is basically it's close to double um, let's go back here your profit and this is the least paid this is the least spreadsheet I have up now guys and gals your profit after the first year is 29,000 okay so once you take you know you come up here and you take all these expenses away because you don't need to buy a new four wheel every year you don't need to buy new permanent fencing for the entire property every year you know you don't need to buy a new energizer every year what you do need to do is make your lease payment right so in simple terms if we add if we add this up here the eight months that we're going to be getting paid eleven thousand dollars that's eighty eight thousand dollars in profit Minus the fifteen thousand, you know, you're left over with sixty something thousand in profit, <clears throat> which is really great. So I just wanted to um, do that quick calculation for you guys and to get you really seriously thinking about buying land. Now, if you're in the situation where you're inheriting land or you already have land that you're making payments on, I think it's a good idea. Just keep it. You know, if you can still do it. All right. Um, I'm not saying owning land is bad. In fact, I think it's a really good idea for you to go, you know, into your com into the community you want to be a part of, or if you already are a part of a community, to buy buy a piece of land. Maybe it's a small piece of land that you can afford, right? That you'll be content living in, and at and uh, just become part of the community. So you have like a home base. You know, you own land there. You have neighbors and whatnot. You have a relationship with the community. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and keep in mind this giant scary number when you're thinking about buying land to run cattle on. Thanks.